Hello, Fofamid here, and today we're going to be talking about how to convert your avatars to a VRM file. Now, if you've never heard about VRMs before, basically, um, if you were thinking about getting into VTubing, then you might have heard of this file before. Popular programs such as Luppet, Virtual Motion Capture, and many others use this avatar file format. In this video, I'm going to guide you through how to convert your avatar to a VRM file. This video is brought to you by Private Internet Access. Enjoy fast, secure web browsing from any country in the world. Click in the video description to learn more. So here are some things that you're gonna need before you get started. You're gonna, first you're gonna need Unity. I find that um, any version of Unity from 2018 to 2019 tends to work. You're gonna need the Uni VRM avatar package and you're gonna need your avatar. So go ahead and get started by launching Unity and installing the Uni VRM avatar package and then drag and drop in your avatar. Once you have everything imported, select your avatar in the hierarchy and then go to the top menu and select VRM. And then in the drop down menu, you're gonna see Uni VRM with your version number. Then you're gonna click export humanoid. A new window will pop up and there might be like a lot of these warnings Often these are warnings that you can generally ignore. It depends on your avatar itself. In this case, um, it doesn't really like all the custom VR chat stuff that my avatar has, but in this case, I'm choosing to ignore it. If you have anything in red, those are generally things that you need to remove or fix in your avatar. So if you're having issues with that, please leave a comment down below. So in my case, I had to expand my window to be a little bit larger. And then you're gonna see that there's three red icons that you need to fill in some information. The first thing is the title of your avatar, the version number, and then the author name. So generally in the author name, you're gonna put your name in it. And then once you're done selecting those things, you can press the export button. Once you press the export button, select a location to be the same place as your asset files of your current Unity project. This could take a while because essentially what's happening is that you're kind of exporting and importing your avatar at the same time. Once it's finished, you should be able to find your new VRM exported avatar in your project folder. Then what you do next is click and drag the new VRM avatar into your scene so then you can begin working with it. Make sure that you set its location for the Z and Y axis to zero. So just like any other avatar, you're gonna click on the body and this is where you're gonna to begin to change the textures or shaders. Now, just like normal, go through all of your materials for your avatar like you would normally, but this time, make sure that you set all of the shaders to VRM. VRM is the only shader compatible with most VRM or VTuber applications. And then select Mtune and add your material like you would normally. In my case, for my avatar, I actually had to go to the prefab and remove some things because my avatar came with some, uh, let's just say some extra bits that we didn't need. So now that we have all of the material set for your avatar, the next step is to work with the blend shapes. The blend shapes basically allows your avatar to have expressions. If you play VR chat, think of it like your hand gestures. So in here, you go through all of the default expressions and vowel sounds for your mouth and make sure that you set them correctly by adjusting the blend shape values. This is very, very important to do if you wanna have your avatar to have some kind of expressivity or mouth movement or eye movement. Now, if you wanna add your own expressions, it's pretty simple to do. All you have to do is add a new blend shape and then play with the values in the bars and slide them around. You can combine a bunch of them together to get a new expression that you like. So in my case, I'm adding a new expression called OMG. And I, I just kind of played with the values until I found something that I like. Your next step is to go in, click in your avatar in the hierarchy. And this is where we're gonna adjust your eye tracking. So go down to the script that says VRM look at, and then make sure you change the target to your camera and then set your avatar's head in the proper location. Here, you can adjust the values to get the eye movement to go left, right, up, down, just the way you need to. 
Next, if you want to add some movement, like um, like for hair movement or cloth physics, it's very similar to the process in VRChat as dynamic bones. If you haven't seen my dynamic bones basics video, you can click on it right here or maybe here. So what you do is uh, very similar to dynamic bones. You at go to you click on the bone that you want to have movement then you go to add component and add brm spring bone and there you can adjust the settings and the amount of bones you want affected if you want to add colliders then you select the bone that you want to have a collider so for example if you want to have a collider on your hand then you go to component then you go add component vrm collider group and with the vrm collider all you have to do is adjust the size. And what's really, really nice compared to dynamic bone colliders is that you can set the size. So if you want to have multiple colliders contained within one uh, collider group, that is um, an easier way to do it compared to dynamic bones. Now, once you're finished with everything in your avatar, once again, go up to the top menu while selecting your avatar in the hierarchy, go to VRM, you need VRM, with the version number of UniVRM that you have and then click export. But this time you're gonna export it to a new location. So in my case, I'm using Luppet. So I'm gonna export it to the Luppet location. Once it's finished exporting, now you can launch it in your favorite VTubing application and then you'll be able to see it completely in action like it is right here. And as you can see, we have uh, eye movement and mouth movement as well, and a little bit of hair movement with our fingers. And as you can see, the lip sync also works as well. Yay. And then you can also set it to work with your different emotes as well. Like, oh no, I am sad now. Oh, I'm shocked. Like that. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please hit the like button. And if you want to see more videos like this, be sure to hit the subscribe button. If you have any comments or questions, please be sure to leave it in the comments section down below. Also, I stream on Twitch. And you can also find that link in the video description. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.